What is up you guys? Figure Force Wayne coming here and today I am going to be explaining to you guys some things that a drummer should have for their setup. Not all of these things are needed, but some are definitely a want for a drummer. What you're seeing right now, guys, is a drum bag from DW. It doesn't have to be from DW, but this is something that you must have as a drummer in my eyes. You pretty much set up this stick bag next to your set, normally on one of your toms, and it opens up and it folds out, and basically it holds all your sticks. So let's say you're in the middle of playing, and you drop a stick. Well, guess what? You don't have to worry about it anymore because you can just pull out another stick. It's fantastic. Protecting your ears. I cannot stress it enough, guys. This is something that every drummer definitely needs. You need to get earplugs. Now, they're pretty cheap, depending on which ones you get. You can get plain earplugs, which are somewhat uncomfortable, and they're pretty cheap. They're like $2. Or you can get the ones I have. Uh, they're pretty much like a... a the way they're built, you can still hear the sound. It doesn't like harm the sound, but it's a little quieter for your ears, so it's not going to harm you as much. Um, I'll put a link down below if you guys want to check them out. They're pretty cheap. I think it's like 20 bucks or like or $18 or something like that for them. But they're definitely useful in situations like this. Another thing you could get for your setup is a cover for your set. Now, me being neat, I don't like having a lot of dust on my set, and I hate cleaning, so I put this over it, and it almost never gets dusty. It's fantastic, and it's pretty cheap. The next thing you guys are going to want to look into is a practice pad. Not only is a practice pad good for, well, practicing, but it also helps you learn technique with the sticks, and... It's quieter, and so that, that means, let's say you're in a college dorm, you can just have on a practice pad rather than having to have, you know, a giant set around, and you'll still get the same enjoyment of, you know, doing patterns and stuff on. It's pretty good, and it's cheap. A nice pair of headphones and or earbuds, whichever you're comfortable with. Quite honestly, drumming would be a lot more boring to me if I couldn't listen to music while I play. Thankfully, I have an electric set, so I have speakers connected and I can play music through speakers. But it's definitely a good idea to, you know, hook up your phone with some music on it, put your your uh, headset into the phone, and, you know, just play some songs and try to play along with them. And not only does it help you learn different techniques from songs, but you can also play to some of your favorite, you know, music. It's, it's awesome. And let's be honest, what's more fun? This? Or this? Okay guys, if you don't have one of these and you're a drummer, you need to go out to the store right now and you need to go buy one. Not only are they pretty cheap, but it's literally going to be your life on the drums. You need to tune your drums because after a while of playing them, guys, they get pretty loose and uh, they sound crappy. So you're going to want to use the tuner to make your drums sound better. Now, this also stands for electric sets, too. Electric sets have pads. Most of them do, unless you have one that is an actual, like, uh, you know, it's it's not a fiber. Instead, it's just a plain plastic pad. Um, but you need to change the tension on them so that when you hit it, it still feels like a drum. And it still sounds good. So definitely, guys, get a tuner. They're pretty cheap, and you, you need to have this. Now, if you're like me, guys, I love my drumsticks, okay? I've used these sticks for a long time now, and whenever I need a new pair, I always and only get these exact pairs. I love them, and they make me feel good when I'm playing the drums. I just like the feel of the sticks. There's different sizes. There's A's, B's. There's different sizes of A's and B's. There's different types of sticks. There's hot rides. There's... There's glow-in-the-dark sticks. There's actual glow sticks, which you're going to see now. Um, yeah, I have a pair of those. I use those in an electric set every once in a while just for fun. I turn off the lights and play with them. They're pretty cool. Uh, it's just a novelty thing. But definitely, guys, getting a pair of sticks that fits you is very important because not only will it improve the way you drum, but it'll improve the way you, you enjoy playing the drums. It'll make you feel better when playing them, 100% better. So definitely, guys, go get yourself a good pair of sticks. 
Whether some of the choices that I told you guys were obvious or not, I hope you did enjoy the video. I know some of them, like the tuner, are pretty, you know, like, no duh, but some people actually don't know that you need to tune drums. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. That's all I got for you. Anyway, guys, that is all I got for you. This has been Vicky420. I hope this video did help you. Uh, it's pretty much just a really small tutorial for any new drummers or maybe drummers that just want to know more about their setup. Uh, if you did like the video, hit that like button, share it on social media, guys, and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys.